Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and we're working through this faith planner. And today is October. We're gonna, well, we're gonna work on October. So I've been thinking about some things to do that are different. And I'm gonna try and do a crisscross with ribbon and uh, you know, and then go like that. And then I think I'll probably need to sew it once I get it glued. And that'll give it like a little, kind of like you've seen those bulletin boards that are like that, where it's it's got crisscross ribbons and you can poke your papers down in it. I'm gonna do that. So um, part of the reason is because I don't wanna cover up the <laughs> design. So, I'll tack it with, uh, let's see if I pull this all the way, maybe I better pull that all the way up here. And then I'll have room for three pieces. I don't want to go across October prayer, so let me. Do something like that. Let's see, and then. Maybe like that. And then I have room for a third one. Down here, a little one. So I'm gonna cut it a little long in case I need to adjust it. Okay, so move this up just a little bit. Kind of evenly space it. And let's see. I'm gonna try to get a right angle. Kind of place. Ah. <laughs> and it likes to cling to each other. Okay. like that, sort of, kind of, if I can get them to be straight lines. So I think what I'm going to do is tack it down with Fabri-Tac and then go over to the machine. To just put a little tiny bit if I can. Ah! Okay, so that's tacked down. 
So I think maybe I'll let it dry for just a little bit. <laughs> and then I'll go and sew around this page. And then this one, let's see, let's get out November. Let's see, there's December, there's November. Okay. So I've got orange and green, kind of like in the orange. I think I'm just gonna use the orange Distress Ink and do a pattern. Maybe I'll use the green too, since they're both there. So, ooh, that carved pumpkin looks a little scary. Oh well, we'll see. And let me find a. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna use this crazy pattern. I've been using more traditional ones, but I think I'll try this since it doesn't show much just around the edges. I don't think it'll hurt anything. So I need to leave some room for the green because you don't want to blend orange and green or you'll get brown. So <laughs> All right, so there's some orange. Guess I didn't need to worry about it being overpowering, did I? Okay. And then I'm going to blend in a green. Let's see. I think that uh, bundled sage. I have shabby shutters. Where's shabby shutters? Mm. No, I'm going to do bundled sage. Okay. out pretty well. Put that over there to wash and I think we're good. We'll need to distress the edge of the page with some, oops, <laughs> my Okay, so there's that. And that's good. All right. And this one has been gessoed, so I am gonna I'm gonna use those um, powders. Let's see that you spray water on it. Ken, Ken Oliver, um, and they come in come some kind of fall, cool fall color. So I'm gonna do the Terra Verde. So. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't take much. And every time I do it, I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> I 
Okay. And I think You know, I'm kind of tempted to spray it with the coffee spray to see what would happen. Oh, the coffee didn't work though. No, I don't want to do that. All right, I'm just going to use a little bit of plain water in this spray bottle. And I got to get my plastic ready because I know this is a mess and it goes everywhere. So let me get everything, <laughs> let me get everything covered up. Okay, there we go. Where's my spray bottle? Oh, hang on. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was kind of crazy. I'm going to... Let the water run. And I'm going to take it, let's see, I'm going to take it over and try to dry it. Wow. That is pretty intense. I think I might blot it. I think I might, I, I don't know, this might ruin it, but I, I think. thinking I want the neutral oh, there's a brown sepia let me try the sepia let's see cover this back up I think I should have used a less intense water spray. Let me go get a different sprayer. <laughs> okay, I've decided instead of water, I'm gonna try this Glimmer Mist. Um, it is Dazzling Diamonds in this um, Tattered Angel Spray and see if that makes it run. I think it will and it's a finer, yeah, finer spray. So let's see, oh, you know the other thing is this bleeds through. Oh no, it doesn't, I've got gesso, okay. Sorry. Okay. So that is kind of interesting. I'm going to tilt it, let it run. This stuff is funny because it'll change like you'll lay it down and come back and it will be like completely different <laughs> and it, if you just tip it a little bit it changes it it's really fun to play with okay all right i'm going to take it over and dry it okay so i went and i dried it and that uh, mica spray just really <laughs> added a cool effect to that. It's got a bit of a shimmer, but it's kind of a uh, almost a pearlized effect on it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but anyway, <laughs> I like it a lot. It's a little intense for the rest of this journal, but that's okay. So let's see, what do we got going on here? Yeah, so I'm looking for the financial thing for, for October. Okay. So this goes over this, so a lot of that's gonna get covered up. Oh, I hate that. Well, I think I'll just put a hinge on this one. 
Not sure what I will put on the back of it, but I'm going to put a washi well, tape hinge on it so I can look at it <laughs> later if I want to. I can at least pull it back and see it. This is my financial giving page, so maybe I'll hide some money back here or something. <laughs> Okay, so that, okay, so now I feel like I need to do something with this. So I think I'll just, I think I'll just ink it. So it looks like old paper, maybe, and just leave it at that. So if I, so if I want to write on it, I can. Just take my glue. Where is it? Here it is. And so something like something like that. Okay, and then I need to put one on this side. I need a thinner one on this side, I think. I think that's a little narrower. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and just get a little bit over on that. Okay, so I got that on a hinge, so I can write, do that blood through there. Okay, and then this one, I think I'm just going to cut a piece of paper for it. And I think I'm going to use this piece I used. I used it before, and I'm trying not to repeat, but I really like this paper, and I think it goes with this journal really well, so I'm going to use it. This is going to kind of settle the whole month down, too. I've got some a little bit of crazy stuff going on here. So this will bring it back to traditional, <laughs> a little more traditional look for this junk journal. Trim it and ink it and then that is it for this October. Okay, so let's see. Oh, and glue the pocket. Yes, yes, yes. This is the praise. Got a little heavy with the ink there. So I'm going to go on and blend it in just a little bit <laughs> so it doesn't look quite so stark. Okay. And praise. Okay, so there's October. Let's see, did I finish everything? Oh, I've got to go over and stitch that. So I'll do that and then got this done, got this done, and got that done. So that is October. All right, 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please click the like button and I will be back on the next video to do November. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.